The Great American Eclipse is now part of history. The path of totality ran through the heart of the Lone Star State. Yeah, a truly rare event that millions of us got to experience together. In fact, we took uh, part ourselves with hundreds of you at Space Center Houston earlier today. And we're going to take you around Texas, starting with Jason Miles. He is live in Colleen in the path of totality today. Jason. Hey there guys, get this, some 12 million people live in the path of totality here in the Lone Star State. Add on top of that all of the tourists who came uh, to watch this eclipse. The best views really depended on location and timing. Eagle Pass got one of the first views of the eclipse in Texas. Totality lasted for four minutes and 24 seconds. It had one of the longest durations in the country. Meteorologist Kim Castro is in Uvalde. I mean, for just a couple of minutes, it was complete quiet, complete darkness and stillness. Absolutely magical. What did you gentlemen think of it? Oh, even with the clouds, it was very moving. It was just, and then the quick glimpses as it was starting, everyone cheering. It was, it was really very nice. Very moving, very moving. Something we'll all remember forever. I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft at Bandera, Texas at the Flying L Ranch, about 30 miles outside of San Antonio. We started the morning off with spectacular views of the initial eclipse, and then about 20 minutes before totality, we did have clouds build in, so it blocked our totality view, but we experienced it in every other way. The temperature dropped by about 12 degrees, the winds did shift, and then the crowd went silent. So even though the clouds did block totality for us, it was truly a magical experience. Here in Colleen, the clouds could be seen appearing to sweep across the sun just before totality, but when it counted, the clouds cleared, and our camera caught a perfect picture. It was unbelievable. I cannot believe we were lucky enough for the, the clouds to part. Incredible. Houston was not in the path of totality, and weather didn't cooperate, but that didn't stop people from enjoying this unique experience. I just really wanted to see it because I know it's super rare, and we're probably not going to see one for another 20 years. It's back! It's back! Oh, I can see it! So, until the next total eclipse, people will have the memories of today and the pictures that seem almost out of this world. And we were fortunate here in Colleen, you know, not far from here in Burnett, Texas, a eclipse festival had to be canceled early because of a severe weather threat over there. We were happy to get mostly clouds today at that peak of the eclipse, a perfect peak, I might add. Reporting live from Colleen, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. We were everywhere today. Thank you, Jason.